Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is one of my projects uh, from the last few weeks and it's been a lot of fun. But it started out with uh, genuine frustration because I've been working with uh, these uh, so-called pixels for a while, um, they're basically strips with LED modules on them, and everybody, everybody, well, every LED strip, every every LED on the strip has a microcontroller on it, and uh, so they're completely addressable, each and every one of them, and it's very easy to program, and they are very bright, they have very good color, and they can be dimmed. To a very low level or at least some of them can so I have been using these for a while um, I did the Halloween mask I did a lot of lighting I did effect lights like this one uh, which is uh, programmable and you can use a, a infrared remote controller to turn it on and um, it's very neat and I like these a lot I have I have like 20 meters of this stuff in a room and I can use it for complete lighting and it is really amazing and it's so easy to do um, but after having uh, consumed about five five meter rolls of this stuff I went to the same eBay seller and I bought some more and it turned out to be uh, quite a frustration when I got it um, and the frustration actually started when I wanted to unpack it. Now where's that bag? So I ordered these new LEDs um, from the same seller that I've ordered the other ones um, the old modules that I have, um, they actually say that they're, they have a WS2812B 20, on it. And um, the new ones don't. There's no mention of 2812 on these at all. And uh, for a good reason. But it started with a... Uh, with a bit of fun because they arrived in this bag and this bag actually says we couldn't imagine how beautiful life without you um yeah right that is true it would have been a lot more beautiful if i hadn't bought these because i bought a lot of them and um it turns out they're not ws28 uh, 12 B's there's something else um, there I don't know exactly what chips these are but they are not they have a completely different PWM frequency uh, they have very different dimming and they have an excess of blue light so there, it is almost impossible to get a white light out of these whereas the old ones uh, were absolutely perfect now I got back to the seller and the seller basically kept telling me, well, no, you're wrong. These are not, these are not, um, these are not different. They're the same chip. It's all the same. Um, it's just your eyes that aren't working. You're not seeing it right. Your controller is broken. Um, you don't know what you're saying and yada, yada, yada. Uh, that was about it. And um, so now I have tons of these and well, I was looking for a few projects and I found this, this clock module or this clock project and I've seen one of these clocks already and I thought, well, I have all these new tools. I have the laser cutter, I have the 3D printer, I have uh, an excess of Arduinos lying around. Let's just build one. And it was so simple. It, it really is 
unbelievably simple with these strips to build something like this. Um, let's take it apart. So, it all starts with the top. Well, I cut this out of 3mm plywood with the laser cutter. It looks really good, um, but if you take a really close look at it, well, there are some, let's say, shortcomings. Um, this plywood doesn't cut very well under a laser. Um, there are a lot of burn marks on here, but it kind of, it, it makes it look interesting. Um, I could have done this with a laser printer on foil or with something else, so um, you don't need a laser cutter, all right? Um, under that, I just have a standard piece of paper, um, so when the light goes through that, it makes sure that each and every field lights up completely. Um, let's just start this up so you can see the effect. Um, each pixel is r lighted up or lights up um, really evenly and you can see it very well uh, through the mask, no matter what the mask looks like. And I think you could even print the, the letters on paper. So that was pretty simple. And uh, the rest of the assembly is also simple if you have a 3D printer, granted. Um, if not, you could just make these masks out of uh, cardboard. And all you need to do is uh, make a square hole uh, right under each LED so it doesn't shine into the other one. In retrospect, I should have possibly or probably um, made this part out of black plastic because the light penetrates the the white PLA very well and I have the LEDs shining into the other squares right beside them. Um, but it's kind of cool anyway. And for a first try, well, it's good. This piece here consists of four parts, um, like this one. Um, they all line up, so this there's one here, another one here, and they're just glued together because I don't have a 3D printer that could print the whole piece in one, and uh, with a part this big you would probably have adhesion issues. It's all very simple, and I, and I just, I mean, I did this in like two days, and that included the laser work and the 3D printing. Uh, that's how simple it is. The wiring is also really simple. I don't know if you can really see this, but the wires here basically jump from line to line. Uh, the direction of the strip is uh, first to the right, the next one goes to the left, and it goes back all the way, so it snakes down. I could have had real, real pixels, like going in a Cartesian system, but um, the connecting wires from one strip to the other would have had to go all the way around. And I wanted to keep wiring simple. While wiring this, I stumbled onto a fact um, that explains something about these about these uh, LED pixels. Um, on the internet, if you Google crappy pixels, you will get a list of, uh, of uh, LED stripes that are considered to be crap. And these are amongst them. And even the seller is amongst that list. So I'm good. Uh, there is a problem with this exact type of strip and it is, if you cut them, uh, there is no pad between the different sizes of, uh, different sides of the data line. The uh, ground and power lines have pads connecting them from one side to the other. The data line does not. So if you were to bend one of these awkwardly, and you were to rip one of the traces on the top side, there wouldn't be a trace on the bottom side to take care of it. So pretty often these are known to fail after having been bent or having been used with too much power. 
If you use them with, with too much power for too long, um, it's pretty probable that the bonds will just evaporate, break off, um, or go bad. Or the chips themselves um, are not the best either. But most of the time, as I found out when I was doing this and then when I was soldering them, I found out that the, that the traces for the data line is basically only on the top, not on the bottom, and there's no pad anywhere connecting the both of them. So that's a real shortcoming of these. And if you have one and you've joined them up and they're not working, just make sure you connect the the lower side of the data to the upper side of the data pin uh, with just a little bit of uh, solder and they're probably gonna work again. That is, that happened to me like six times over um, over these strips here, and I thought I'd, I'd broken them or or they were they were really bad. But I tested the whole strip when it was new, and I just turned on each and every LED um, with a test program, and that was it. Um, from the software side, everything is pretty simple too. There is the uh, fast LED library that you can use with these pixels. And um, getting the LEDs to light is very simple. Uh, the clock code that I used for the Arduino Nano um, is also very simple. And I'm going to upload this to my repository. And when I'm done, I'm going to stick a link into the description of this video. Um, it is also very simple. It makes use of the uh, microseconds counter um, of the Arduino, uh, which is basically fed directly by the quartz. Um, that quartz is not a timing quartz, but it's reasonably good. And uh, it is often off by about two to 5%, 5% maximum. And I wrote some code where you can actually adjust that. Uh, it doesn't have that much temperature drift um, it does have a little bit of voltage drift, but if you connect this to a uh, USB power source, your voltage will be good enough. Um, the one that I have here uh, will run uh, within about two seconds over four days. Uh, that is adequate, I would say. Um, yeah, this here is a really, really simple project, and uh, a lot of people have done these. Uh, I was just amazed how simple it can be made with the LED strips. And uh, uh, according to, to the language that you want to use um, for German, uh, it is basically 11 pixels by 10. Um, I have these four on the outside to indicate each, um, each extra minute that is summing up. And uh, for different languages, you might need to alter the size um, because you can't fit the word for each five-minute segment um, onto onto the, the the available space. But apart from that, um, it is everything is like really simple, and it's it's so easy to do. Uh, the only thing that I'm now still working on is I have to add uh, some buttons so I can set the clock. I haven't been able to get that done yet, but I'm working on that. And when it's all done, when it's working, I'm gonna upload the code somewhere, um, probably inside my Git repository. And I'm gonna add the, the files for the 3D printed parts and those things. Um, I can't, I'm not going to add um, the, the top side. Uh, because I don't know, I found this on the internet, and I don't know if this has been taken from something uh, that is actually on the market, and that might be protected um, uh, through some kind of copyright or, or, or legal stuff. But basically, I just used a uh, a stencil font, so it would look kind of cool. And uh, I think you could actually 3D print this if you have a 3D printer that can go small enough. And that might look really cool too. I might try that when I have my big printer running, but not right now. So um, 
yeah, that's it. This is the this is the crappy pixel text clock project that I had been doing, and I really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy it too. Um, thank you very much for watching, and bye bye.